Fire! Fire a freaking like God! Wow! <laughs> Laugh in, in humility all you want, but you know I it, it was necessary. It's Hello, so everybody! Welcome back for more. Let's play the Legend of Stray Fairy. <laughs> I'm Hunter, the one who needs no introduction, and with us here still is just Jamson. But you knew that already. Anyways, on this video, I decided to randomly make progress in this temple. Randomly make progress. Yes, I randomly decided. Well, I feel like I've done nothing in the last video, so I decided I should. You run. didn't do anything in the last video. Besides, get the ice arrows, which is important. Yeah. Even though it isn't. It's not really that important, no. <laughs> I won't use them for this temple, which is sad because they are actually useful in this game. Like, for real. But not in Ocarina of Time where you never have to use them. Yeah, it's pretty sad. sad. You you don't have to use them. You can use them, but you don't have to use them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're not required, so it's pretty much a pointless item. Yeah, pointless. Speaking of Ocarina of Time, I'm not considering doing that game because I'm having fun doing this one. Hmm. That's my next LP, actually, after Wind Waker. Ah, that should be interesting, then. That should be an interesting thing. Let's hope you don't have any opponent ass shaking shenanigans. What? Epona ass shaking? What? You can sometimes glitch Epona up against a ledge or a fence, and, like, you walk and basically she just shakes her ass. Well, that's pretty strange. You never seen that one video of NCS's? Nope. Apparently not. I didn't watch his uh, Ocarina of Time LP, actually. Oh. Well, then you will never know. And, oh, I, look, I we can go up there, but there's no circulation of water in this area yet, which is... If you fail, you need to go turn it also, on. Also, not the first day! Oh, well, we didn't do so bad with the time, I guess, because you spent an entire in-game day doing it. Well, we actually, you're right, I do spend an entire in-game day doing this temple. And then, like, yeah, you spend like, the night time doing it, the rest of it. Pretty, so. well, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Pretty much, yeah. So now there yeah. are demon spawn fishies. Again. Do you, haven't you been in this room? Yes, it was the one where I got the, the dungeon map. Alright. So it's this room, yes, it's, it is this room. Mm. Oh, green rupee. And a, <laughs> Yay, I wasted an ice arrow on a fish. Yay, ice arrow wasting. Raz. So, so you didn't have the ice arrows when you were in this room before, right? No. So it's now you can use them to get across, maybe. Yes, and that <laughs> skellifish is very, very, very happy. You know what you can you, you know what you should have done? You probably should have put on the mask and then just like went in the water and fucked those fish up before you did this. Yeah, but they were spawn, remember? Oh. Stripping. I didn't know that actually. Well if you leave a room and come back, any enemies that were in said room respawn, so Well I mean you could have done them in this room, you could have killed them and then used the eyes arrows. Yeah, but I didn't want to. Anyways then well, that's a weird-looking color choo jelly. No, choo choo. I want to see choo jelly. Stop that. They call choo choos. There's a bomb tree up there. Fail. Yay. Fail. Does this guy stay? Does this guy stay frozen? Yeah. Well, for a little bit. So that's why I'm hurrying. Now we will get up there. And now we will push this. Ow. <laughs> we will push this lever pulling thingy. Power. Dude, Link can push that by himself? Yeah, apparently so. So that's why I'm assuming that even with the Gohan mask on, it would probably do nothing. Why the hell? He has the power gauntlets on, I'm guessing. That's the only logical conclusion. Well, he doesn't have the power gauntlets on. Or does he? He doesn't. <laughs> or does he? Oh, uh, he doesn't. Power bracelets, maybe. Well, it looks like he has something on. I don't know. He really doesn't have anything on his hands. Maybe, maybe he does actually have the power raises on after all. Yeah, because you would assume because he was able to push like a block. Yeah. Hell, he was even able to pull an entire bookcase. Well, he's one strong mofo. <laughs> yeah, for like a twelve-year-old. Mo Sakura. What? Mo Sakura. I'm not gonna ask what that is. I'm guessing that's Spanish. <laughs> Latin or something. I don't know. Point is, hey, you, Pikachu, die. 
Son of a gun. Hey, you Pikachu. I remember that game being really evil. Because... What, hey, hey you Pikachu? Yeah, because sometimes the voice command didn't like to work for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that... Oh, what the hell? What the hell did that Bokababa just do? Uh, it decided to become a spider. So it's a, it's a Boka spider? I don't know, I, I I didn't bother trying to check. Spider Baba? I don't know. Look it up. Baba Arachnid. Point is Baba that its body parts float up after I maul it to death, and then a treasure chest appears. So how much you want to get? What do you think is in there, Josh? Stray fairy? Mm, you have any other guesses? Just just for small key? Any others? Green ruby. <laughs> no, that would just be evil. Um. Um. I don't know. Time's up, and your guesses were mostly wrong, except for the first one. Oh well, I said fuck. Uh, you didn't say I was right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't say you were wrong either. Oh. Well, you asked if I had any more guesses. I just wanted to trick you. <laughs> well, aren't you an ass? I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Anyways. Hey, yeah. I, I did it on cue that time. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, the strangest part of you, like, use the ice arrows for most of the temple, but for this area. You use fire arrows. <laughs> yeah. You have to use it again later, and it gets annoying. But anyways, we go in here and... Oh my god. It's... It's oh. a bitch! <laughs> Alright. And we gotta fight this dude. Who is, like, walking around a bunch of... Um... What about these... And now he's just standing there. Poop bubbles. No, they look like... They, they look like the they look like gelatin. Bubbles. They look like jello. Yeah, they're, they're jello. So let's, they, you know... They look like... They look like poop bubbles. What does that even mean? They look like poop bubbles, goddammit! They bounce! Yes, poop bounces! <laughs> Never mind. Like rubber. Oh, no, wait, it's flubber, that's what it is. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna show you this. Watch this. It is, it does look like flubber, doesn't it? Dude! Sure, you got... <laughs> and yes, I sped that up for comedic effect. Because I wanted to. What's the... Never mind. And I love it how he just stands there whenever you attack him. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. No, I'm just gonna stand here and let you shoot me. Frogman doesn't like to move when you attack him. Frogman. Like, how do you know about Frogman? That's a closely Frogman. guarded secret. What? <laughs> okay, so he's actually a frog. His, when you, when his name, his his boss name is Gecko, but he's a frog, as you can see there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just about to say. His boss name is Gecko, but he's actually a frog. Yeah, I know. It doesn't That's, make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. No, and I love how Link, like when Link's looking at somebody and their head moves, or the, when he's looking at the frog, his head moves up and down with the frog. I'm not sure if you really noticed that, but still. No, I did not. Well, I can't really tell because it's lagging on my, in my end a little bit. Hmm, should we talk to the frog? I'm contemplating- wait, no, wait, 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 maybe we should, maybe we should. Yeah, we should, we probably should, because I can get that thing done in this cycle. <laughs> Alright, and so the frog moved. Weird. That's pretty strange, man. Oh, don't get hurt, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Gotta be, you came all this way looking for me. Dude. Yeah, it's it's really kind of sad how easily tricked these people are, these characters are in this game by just. I'm assuming like, that it's kind of like, it's kind of like how in Team Fortress 2, when when you're looking at other teammates, when they're a spy and they're disguised as somebody, how they have that paper thing over their face. Yeah. But in actuality, the other team sees them as like the actual model of the character. I'm guessing hmm. that's the logic of what these characters are seeing here. Probably. It's still really strange. Anyways, and oh my god, you got the boss key. Boss key, and the hands of the frog are raping my face. And so I'm taking it off. <coughs> that would have been the weirdest transformation mask, though. Instead of, like, the Zora, it would have been a frog. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, that would have been cool. 
And it's Maybe. green too, so it fits more of the mask persona idea. Except without Jim Carrey. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Yeah. And now we climb up. And then I forget what we do. What do we do after this? Well, we have... We have a boss key, so that means we could technically go to the boss, but I think we need more stray fairies. Because we need... I, I think you're right. Because we still have seven left to get, and I do not know where most of them are. Because I've not opened the other section of the rooms yet. But I probably will now, because I just remember, ding, that red thing I pushed. Do you know what... Ah, yes, it gives water to place. Yes, it, 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 it wins it into the second room you enter in the temple for the first time. Which would yes. be that room over there. Which is good, so it opens up more areas. Well, on the alternative bad. side, we will have to turn off the yellow side of things. All right, we have to turn off the yellow. Nobody likes the yellow. Yellow mellow is better than Madden Dew. You don't know where that's yep. from, don't you? Yellow what? Oh, just look up Jim Varney. Jim Varney? <laughs> you know who Jim Varney is, right? I have no idea who Jim Varney is. Ernest? Ah... Uh, Right. Never mind. Just, just, just. <laughs> <look it up. laughs> All right. And then. Oh, I see. Now it stops the water wheel, and then we have to turn off the yellow so that the water wheel can move. Again. Yes, you're learning about physics, Josh. Yay, physics! Yay, physics that, unlike in Sonic 06, are not broken. <laughs> oh, Sonic 06. Eh, you satanic game. <laughs> A silly satanic game. Alright, so after 10 seconds of bowling animation... For a second there, I thought it wouldn't work, but then it started. It takes a while for it to start out for some random reason. I don't know why. It's a rusty piece of crap. It's a rustic bucket. Seriously though, if you're gonna make a water temple, don't make it out of metal. <laughs> it's not the steampunk temple. <laughs> you need to... <laughs> You need to, you know, either put some sort of rust remover or something, because the whole temple's gonna seize up, which it did. It did. Yeah, that's a weird point. Rust plus water equals no fun. Yeah. What the hell? Zora's. Then again, do you th really want every. Dude, I just nailed a Skulltula to the wall with ice. That is pretty epic. <laughs> uh, I didn't stay long enough to look at it, but it looked pretty weird. For like that split second, he did see it. Yes. Anyways, where was I going with this? Well, it, it, I I don't think I don't think Nintendo wanted every temple to look like the water temple, now did they? No, but it should be made out of like most stone. <laughs> Didn't the water temple have some kind of like a mechanism thing with like mechanics and whatnot too, in technicality? No, but the water did raise and lower. But it wasn't be it wasn't made with metal, so. Hump wall. You didn't see that. What? Never mind. You'll see it when you watch the video. Oh yeah, and then we go through here, and now we get to my least favorite room in the temple. Ah, explosion. You know why I don't like this room? Why don't you like this room? You know how in the entirety of the water temple, how you had to switch off on and often on the iron boots, and you have to keep going to the inventory screen every time. Yes. Imagine that, but with fire and ice arrows, which have an animation when you equip them. Oh. It takes forever. Oh. So yeah, if you screw up in this room, you're gonna have to keep doing that every time. So let's see. I did not time that right. You're supposed to do that when you were at the peak of the height of that. Platform elevator thing in particular. And I did not do that. Fail. Whoop! See, Whoop now I can't, get, I, can't, I can't get up there. So now I'm gonna have to jump off and. Link didn't even try to jump there. Did you see that? Yeah, he kinda just. Yeah, fell. He just like, man, my life is a waste of time. Jump. Or <laughs> lift fall. I try to run into these barrels. And there wasn't a switch behind here because I thought there was for some reason. Whoa, that was weird. All right, now to unfreeze the water current again. <laughs> I mean to unfreeze them, and now we're gonna freeze oh, them. Oh, I, 
I see. That's why you had to switch it back and forth, because if you screw up, you have to use... The fire arrows to mount the, the ice to melted. start the current again, and then you gotta use the arrows to start the current again. sucks, man. Yeah... A jellyfish. Alright, so next time at Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will be doing this... Do I get enough for this time? Yes, we will be doing this room, so until then, see you later, and... Goodbye. I said good... I, I am supposed to say goodbye first. Oh, well, I'm...